Hello! I want to answer a, a comment or a question that was uh, submitted by a viewer coming from Ace. It says, I wonder what's your concept about saving money and work? I'm almost done working for six months, but my mental health uh, took a toll from rude customers, rush hours, and bad managers. Very good question. And I want to answer this for you. This world is full of morons. There's a reason why people get grumpy when they get older. And when they get grumpy, they want to be left alone most of the time. And people these days are a lot more impatient, more rude, more entitled, more full of shit and all that. I know what you're dealing with. I've worked in customer service. Looks like you're in customer service. I've had to deal with rude customers, rush hours, and bad managers before. I go to the public gyms. I deal with rude people all the time, every day. Every day is a fight. It's a challenge for me at the gym. Why? Because the people that I'm working out with, not all of them are polite. Not all of them are especially aware. Not all of them know common courtesy or common sense. And a lot of them, especially you kids that come in to the gym in packs of five to ten, at a time, you, you walk around the gym like a swarm of mosquitoes, ravaging everything that you see and making loud noises, lifting up your shirt every five seconds or pulling down your pants and taking selfies and all that. I have to put up with that every day. So, here is my advice for you. Know that this will pass. Okay, focus on your goal. You're on your way towards something long term. You're not going to be stuck at that job forever, I bet. A goal. Like, I have a goal. I have a personal fitness goal. Of mine and I strive to work towards it every day like I want to run faster I want to run longer I want to be more flexible I want to punch harder I want to be a better boxer better better athlete all that right I have my own goals that I, I focus on and I just ignore the rest everyone else is just noise it says here you're saving money when you work good save that money don't give in to temptation don't buy things that you don't really need. I remember I had one friend a long time ago. I used to work in a nice hotel, very prestigious hotel, as a bellman. I had a coworker. He was a little bit younger than me. And uh, this kid, we were both kids at the time, this kid managed to save about $25,000 just from working. He never spent a dime of it. He just lived at home with his parents. He saved. He didn't, you know, he didn't have a girlfriend. Good kid. Very, I liked him a lot. And uh, he told me that he needed my advice because he was thinking of getting a nice brand new sports car so that he could impress the girls and hopefully get a girlfriend. Everyone around him told him, yeah, go for it. Get that nice sports car. And I was the only one, the only true friend that said, no, save your money. Forget about the girls. The right girl will come into your life. Not because you have a flashy car. Guess what happened? He didn't take my advice. He bought the nice sports car. He felt good for about a few weeks. And then he, he went back to being miserable again. So he was in the hole. He had a nice sports car. A lot of girls used him. He met the wrong types of girls. And uh, he sunk further into depression. Stay on your goal is what I want to say. Okay? Ignore everyone around you. This, every, everyone around me. And everyone around you is just noise. They're not going to be around your life forever. I guarantee if you work hard, save your money, sooner or later, you're going to reach your goals, achieve success, and that success is going to take you to the next level. And then you're going to meet better people, more high quality people. You're dealing with a lot of low quality people in your life. Just like me. We're all doing the grind. Okay, But just stay, keep at it is what I want to say. Okay, this will pass. It will pass. And I look pretty tired. But I trained my ass off today and I had to deal with a lot of crap at the gym from all these stupid kids around me. But I went anyways. I got it done. So keep on your path and ignore everyone. That's the best advice I can give you. All right. So take care, my friend. And thanks for watching. Bye.